Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little bit of a different spot than I normally am. And really, normally I sit right there. And now I'm sitting right here on the floor instead. But that's because today's video is a little different than something I normally film. I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone this month. Two videos, not within the project panning space. Although my next video will be an update in my Shop My Stash project pan. So if you're here for all the project panning content, don't worry. That's coming up next, and then the top of October, you know we have our five pan rolling style project pan update, as well as our pan those eyeshadows update, which I usually kind of hit as my first two videos of the month. All that to say, don't worry, the regular content is not going away, but I did want to film this video for a couple reasons. One being is I was looking at my YouTube analytics recently and my most viewed video is a video talking about what's in my work bag and a review of my Herschel backpack. And I filmed that a few years ago now and I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even use that backpack anymore as my work bag. Actually, when I started my new job in February of 2020, I purchased a whole new work backpack, but I used it for three weeks. And then we went home for the pandemic for two and a half years, pretty much. And so I never really used it that often, like going in and out of work. Now, that being said, I've been going back on and off since October, but then really it's been three days a week, very consistently since April slash May. So I was like, okay, I've had enough time to be using this backpack. It could be an interesting video to film now that I've used it a little bit more than I had, you know, the three weeks that I used it back in February of 2020. And so I figured that I would kind of film an update to that original video of like, let me talk about my new bag and what's in my backpack now. Since I feel like a lot of us are now going back to work in some way, my company calls this like a hybrid approach. So I still work from home Mondays and Fridays, although I could go into the office on Mondays and Fridays if I wanted. And then we are required to work from the office Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, although there's a lot of flexibility there and really, you know, depending on what's going on in your personal life and all of that, you can, choose not to go in or whatever if needed. But in general, I go in the office three days a week. So the backpack that I've been using for the last few months and then those three weeks in February of 2020 is my CalPAC Kaya laptop backpack. And so I thought it would be interesting for me to share with you all today a little bit about this bag, how I feel about it, and then also share what's in my bag and what I take to work with me every day. So to start out, I went back in my email and found when I purchased this and how much I paid for it. So this bag is in the shade Caramel and back in February of 2020, I paid $105 for it. Now on the CalPAC website, it is listed for $128. So, and it looks to me to be the same exact bag. So something to keep in mind there, I don't know if that's inflation or they updated something, but the bag that I purchased was $23 cheaper than what it's being sold for today. One of the reasons I actually purchased this bag specifically is because of this little flap on the back. And at the time I was traveling a lot personally and like my role previously to the one that in my new company, I was traveling a lot for work, although I haven't traveled for work since I started this new job other than going to New York City, I think once. But I do really like this because if I were to travel on a flight, I could slip my handle of my suitcase through there and then just have my backpack connect in my suitcase instead of having to carry my backpack straps on my shoulders. Speaking of carrying my backpack straps on my shoulders, that is something I will point out about this, that because there's no padding on any of these, they do feel heavy, like they start to get uncomfortable on your shoulders way quicker than other backpacks that I've used. And I think it's just because there is no padding. And so this bag, because of my, the work things that I have in here, can be a bit heavy and these straps can be a little bit wearing. And just in general, talking about like the shape and design of this bag, I love how it looks. Like I think it looks very sleek. It's not too thick or anything. It really holds its shape so well, which is something I really appreciated. I feel like that elevates the bag. My Herschel bag could be a little floppy here and there where I feel like this has really held its shape and even though I kind of stuff it full, as you can probably tell, like it still looks very nice and professional looking, which I really enjoy 
I have no, had no problems with like stains or anything on this, even with the light color. So also really enjoy that. In terms of aesthetics, but also usability, there are a lot of pockets throughout this bag, which I will show you. But there, you know, you can obviously see the one here on the front, which is a pretty large pocket. And then actually within the bag, there's a lot of pockets as well. And so that's been really helpful for me because I love, I love a good bag with pockets. Also, there's the handle on the top, which is super nice because I tend to just grab it here sometimes as well. Also call out on the stitching. This is another design piece, which I think just truly elevates the bag and makes it look expensive and nice, which is always good when you're, you know, wearing a backpack into meetings. My thoughts are if you're going to wear a backpack into a meeting, it's nice when it looks nice if you can, right? So I just really like the stitching for that added factor. Within the first pocket closest to the straps, it's a very thin, narrow pocket, specifically designed for a laptop. And there is a laptop section that fits my Mac laptop, but I don't use a Mac for work. I use, what is this, an HP. So as a result of that, I cannot fit that in the actual little pocket. So I just kind of put my laptop next to it. Sometimes I have papers and other things in this. Oh, I do have some stuff. So I have sitting in that actual laptop pocket a magnet that says, proceed as if success is inevitable. I have not put that up on my desk. Maybe I will at some point now, but I know that it's in there. And then I have four just different pens in there as well because you can never have enough pens. But that's really all that I use that pocket for. Then in the front, there is a larger pocket which has many pockets within that so in the main space i have a notebook i'll explain that in a second i have another notebook and then i carry my planner with a pen always i just like to have that i do not actually put any like work related things in my planner it's more just like planning like around my life but this is very helpful for me to have like while I'm at work in case something comes up and I need to look and see when I'm available for things. It's just, I like to carry it around. And so I kind of leave it in this bag most often. It's also another pen in there in that main pocket. And then also sitting within that main pocket, I have a bag. This is actually from, I think Toluca Swim, which is no longer a company. It was a company owned by Taylor Dilk, her husband and sister, as well as Whitney Simmons. But I think they are no longer and Vitality, which is the company Taylor and her husband and sister own, will actually start doing swimwear. So anyway, that does not matter. But they used to send, I think if you would spend like $150, they would send you like little bags like this. I have like a couple of other ones in different colors and stuff. And so a lot of things in this bag. So I have more pens. I have a thank you note and an envelope that's seen better days, but you never know when you need to write a quick thank you note. So I like to keep that on hand. I have my old cell phone, which I don't know why that's in there and or why I just haven't treated it in yet, but I have not. So that is there. And then I also have all of these pins. So before I moved into my new position, which I did in June of this year, I sat within like a larger cubicle. And so I used these to like pin stuff up on my cubicle. Now I sit more in like an open concept space. The building that I'm in now is mostly open concept. I actually don't know if they have any cubicles at all. Like even leadership sit within like an open concept space. And so there's really very little like material. I think it's just a little bit of material like behind my screens that I could pin stuff up. So I, I keep them just in case I would wanna use them for that, but really I, I maybe have like one or two things pinned up there. I have my phone charger always comes in handy piece of paper that has a number on it that helps me get into my computer so I will not be showing that I'm not sure what this is but it is in there a cough drop and then guess what <laughs> two more pens that is all that I have in that bag but it's nice to have an area to if I need to keep little things together I know I can just throw it in here and it won't get lost in this bag although this bag is not huge and I probably wouldn't lose anything <laughs> uh, in this bag anyways but it's just nice having like all of those things contained in here. And if I have anything small like that, that I would like to contain, I know I have this bag to do it in and it's pretty thin. So it doesn't take up a bunch of space because like I said, it was sitting in that main pocket with all of these notebooks as well. And it was fine. So there's also some pockets that sit within this main component. There's a big pocket in the back 
which is nice. I don't keep anything in there. And then there's kind of two pockets right in the front, which one holds my headphones. So this is just like the ear set I use for work. I'm on calls all the time. So I just pop that in if I'm at my desk. So obviously people don't have to listen to everyone I'm on the call with. I like it because it's wireless. Although now in the new open space, I'd like to probably have headphones that cover both my ears because sometimes I get distracted if other people are talking on the phone, hearing them in the ear that's open. But for the most part, this has worked really well. And then on the other side, I have just some Jorgen's lotion, which I honestly totally forgot that, that was in there, so that's good to know. And then I also have a USB that I've just had forever. It has like a bunch of stuff on it that I could possibly need at some point. I don't know if it really makes sense to honestly even keep in my work bag. I should probably keep it elsewhere, so I might end up moving that somewhere else because I can't actually plug in a USB into my work computer and do anything with it because of the level of security. So it's kind of pointless for me to carry that around anyway. And then there's another pocket bend that sits along the front wall that I used to carry some stuff in, but I had a lollipop in there that I realized recently melted a little bit, and so now it's kind of gross and ooey gooey in there. So I just don't have anything in there because I don't want it to get disgusting. So I need to figure out a way to like wash and clean that pocket so it's usable again. And then the last pocket on this bag is this one right here in front. And really, I don't keep much of anything in here because it's not gonna very roomy because of you know, the front pocket pushing stuff out. But I do keep my badges, which I won't show you because it has my photo and my name on it. And this is how I have to scan into my building and then I have to scan into the part of the building that my company leases or owns or whatever. And so I have two different badges to do both of those things. And that really is the structure of the bag. So not a ton going on, but I like the simplicity. There are two things that I have felt are a negative to this bag. So I feel like I have largely positive feelings regarding this bag and how it works for me. There are two things that I prefer. I feel like sometimes I run into a space issue. So like I said, I keep all of these things in that front pocket, but it feels like I'm squeezing to get them all in there. And so I don't think that I can carry a ton of stuff in this bag, which is understandable because of the structure. Like there's not a lot of flexibility to you know, stretch this. So I'm kind of just limited to like how this width, right? And so sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I could fit more in here because then I end up carrying things in my hands instead of being able to put them in my bag. And then the second thing kind of goes along with that in the sense of when I do load this up and I do make it heavy, which just tends to happen on its own because I'm carrying notebooks and a computer in it, these straps, like I said at the beginning, get feel really heavy on your shoulders quickly. And I feel like if I had all of that stuff, same amount of stuff in another backpack that had either padding or was situated in a different way, it wouldn't hurt how it hurts with this. Like I feel like I can wear this like in and out of the office like carrying it, but I wouldn't wanna leave it on my shoulders for an extended period of time because honestly it just gets uncomfortable. So those are really the two things that I would change about this if I could. Although I don't know if I'd really want to change it so it could fit more because I like the shape and how it looks. But I, I assume you know what I mean. I'm like, it just doesn't always fit everything that I want it to. That is what I have in my work bag. And I hope you got a clear picture of kind of how I feel about this bag. I do love it. There's kind of those two things that I mentioned that I would change or just point out if you're like interested in picking this bag up. But overall, I have very much enjoyed it. I've gotten a ton of compliments on this and it's just been a good bag to have and be able to use for work. And I feel like it's gonna last me a really long time, which I also appreciate. So that is the update there on my newer, I, I wanna call it new, but I've had it for like almost three years, but I really haven't used it very much. So I'm gonna call it new just for the sake of this video, my newer work bag and what I keep in it and how I feel about it. And I hope you enjoyed getting to see this video and getting to learn a little bit more about this bag and a little bit more about me in terms of what I keep when I go to work. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.